Boyd, guarded by Paxson. Here's Mitchell Wiggins. He hits the first basket of the game. 5-12 to go first quarter. Slow starting ball game. 14 to 7 Chicago. Don Cheney's really been in a dilemma all season long with the bench having the problems that they have. You can't keep running without using your bench effectively without tiring out in the fourth quarter. Boy, that was a fine play by Sleepy Boy to get out of trouble. And the basket, Mitchell Wiggins, who now has four points. A little pressure applied. Five and a half to go first half. 48 to 29. And that thing almost taken away by John Paxson. But Johnson's still in trouble. Finds the open man on the right side, Mitchell Wiggins. And he does a mid-air adjustment to get a basket. Look that body pumped up again. <laughs> Put a little more air in it. The lead is 20, 51, 31. 4.55 to go. <laughs> Wiggins gets two from the baseline. Jordan. King. Got four nice moves. Misses the shot. It's Houston's ball. Ijewan is letting him get great low post position. Three on two break for Houston, and Wiggins will go to the free throw line. Well, the Chicago Bulls had the lead in the division for a while, but they don't anymore. They trail the red-hot Detroit Pistons, who have won 11 in a row. And next Sunday, the Pistons go to New York to take on the Knicks at Madison Square Garden. You'll see it at 12 o'clock Eastern time here on CBS. Knicks are tough at home, just like these Bulls are tough at the stadium here. Billy Fredright. 62-50. Largest lead of the first half was 20. The lead at the end of the first quarter was 13. Purdue. The only Houston lead was 2-0. There's the outlet pass to Elijah Warren. Matched up with Jordan, so they'll set up into their half-court offense. Wiggins. And here come the Rockets. And Wiggins just drifted down, and Bill Jackson said, hey, we're forgetting how to play this game here in the second half. Skip pass. Maxson goes by Thorpe. Feeds Grant. Nice adjustment. But the rebound for Elijah Wan. And a chance to get into single digits now for the first time since early in the second quarter. Johnson, the lead is eight. I'll tell you, quickly up the side. And Thorpe to the middle. Found the open man on the break. Jordan. The double team comes from Otis Thorpe and the steal by Wiggins. Rebound, Houston Buck Johnson, the tip by Wiggins. I'll tell you, when you attack the hoop, it's almost impossible to block people out on missed shots. 67-64, Rockets with a 23-6 edge here in the second half. Jordan, back to Stacey King. Tipped away by Elijah Wan. Three on two. Foul, Horace Grant. But they had five guys up there against three as King never got up to court nor Michael Jordan. You watch how quickly they come up at you. Here's Michael Jordan going one on one. They cut off the baseline. King has a good shot attempt, but look at them steam up the court. Five on two. That's fast break basketball. That's force. Forcing the pace of the game. Mitchell Wiggins increases the Rocket lead to four. Bill Johnson, uh, Jackson saying, John Bach, now what do we do here? Well, Bill well knows you've got you to hit a few shots. That's 15 for Akeem Olajuwon. Bounce pass to Wiggins, and Neely takes him down. Michael Jordan gets you thinking offensively, defensively. Neely with a foul, and Mitchell Wiggins with a chance for his 20th point now. 4.43 to go. You know, when you're really an up-tempo team, dividends, the big dividends are supposed to come in the fourth quarter if the bench produces. That's when you count on breaking the game loose. Elijah Wong with 29 points and 15 rebounds now. Jordan. Here come the Rockets again. Pippen takes down Wiggins, and Wiggins goes to the line again. Starting to catch on to this system a little bit. Fast break doesn't mean you have to have a good guy push the ball up the court. 
all the time. He must make decisions and when to pass the ball along, and he's starting to catch on. Well, the Rockets as a team have not shot free throw as well, but Mitchell Wiggins has. He's eight of nine now. The lead is seven. Mitchell, Mitchell Wiggins. They got to hit that shot. There's that defense giving it. Saying you're going to beat us. You're going to beat us from the outside. 